Welcome in to the Bro Link, everyone. My so, name's Dr. Cloud. The Aquatic Hyaline is back again. Let's hope this one goes better than the last episode. What was that? Wait, that was the I don't remember before. how the episode went, but if you guys missed it, you guys should go check it out. And I will probably also go check it out so I know what the heck's going on. Indeed. Um, I do know in the last one, I beat Karina at the end of it. So now Hyaline's going to fight Karina. And... And we just had some dinner, so we're feeling pretty good. Yeah, we're, we're doing pretty solid. Yeah, pizza is always like a good way to go, and that the local place that we like um, just always hits Ooh. good. You know, like it always just hits really nicely. Especially that crumbled sausage. Yeah, it really does. I really enjoy the crumbled sausage. I, th I think it hurts other pizza places because they don't have crumbled sausage. Might also be their seasoning mix they used. Yeah, I bet it is. Okay, let me ask you, what is your favorite pizza topping? Ooh. I know, I Ooh. know. Oh, why would you do this? <laughs> That's cruel. I think that crumbled sausage has to rate as one of my highest. It's it's pretty high, yeah. Oh, Keep... good pepperoni. I, if the pepperoni is done right. The grilled chicken, dang it. I just like meats on my pizza. I do too. Except the anchovies. I'm definitely not a big vegetable guy for pizza. Though some work. No, I'm just not a big vegetable guy. Like, red onion goes great with a barbecue pizza, but as Cloud has probably mentioned, not a fan. No, I was, I was actually talking to my coworker about, like, my palate today oh. and just how few vegetables I actually eat, which there's only one that I eat, and it's green beans. Not a fan. Yeah, exactly. Oh, good job, you beat her. Um, she had a... Yanma of Barboach, so, you know, I felt kind of unthreatened. Okay, you have your Bailey for cut, right? It's either got cut or strength. Okay, well, see if we can learn cut, because that's the only way to get that TM. Yeah! So, Flyleaf will always be remembered, but now it's going to be our HM. Fair. <laughs> Flycon can't learn it. This is so frustrating. <laughs> Randomizing compatibility. The downsides. <sighs> but, I believe... That you have the encounter here. Uh, just try to avoid the encounter uh, and get that TM if you can. If you get it, it's not the end of the world because we don't remember who got the first encounter last time anyways. So we never do, do we? No, it's it's so. We should hard. really watch beforehand sometimes. Yeah, but then you have to like comb through the footage to see what was exactly the last thing that happened. That sounds like a lot of work, man. Uh, probably a bit. I'm trying to be a YouTuber so I don't have to work. <laughs> <laughs> no, they work all the time. It's actually kind of crazy. Yeah, it's terrifying. Fine. Uh, so it's like a little piece of metal that connects oh. all the new socks I got for Christmas. Whoa. <laughs> nice. Game, can I have some damaging TMs? Please. Which, for the people at home, I'm currently wearing pineapple socks. Mine are just black. Yeah. Uh, I got a bunch of, like, Basic. New, um, okay, so we did a Secret Santa, and someone opened, like, this pack of, like, 10 to, like, 15, um, like, food novelty socks that are, like, long business socks, and I just targeted them down for Secret Santa. I was like, yep, nope, that's what I want. I need more socks for work. <laughs> And Sock's like one of the few places that I can like kind of just have fun with it. So I definitely went hard for them. All right. You can feel free to like fight these trainers while, you know, I'm just moving around. Oh. Or you can, I guess, get the encounter. <laughs> Ooh, hi. Hi there, hello. You're not Yes! <laughs> oh, I also got to know. <laughs> Can anyone learn it? Uh, I'm hoping Excel Board can, to be honest. It is physical. <laughs> oh, I mean, I'll, I'll get. I'll, uh, yep. That's worrying. Let me get my Aerodactyl Thousand Arrows real quick. Hold on. And then I'm just gonna forget Brave Bird. You don't need the damage output or the recoil more worrying. No, I was, I was really hopeful like I can get an ability capsule and teach that, um, keep Brave Bird and like just not have to deal with the uh, recoil. Yeah, but it it's not worth wasting the time and move slow right now. Okay, what is my encounter pair? Hi, okay. Can you be male, please? Thanks, cool. Okay, so that's another pair we can't use. Rock bug. Unfortunate. I'm just gonna chuck this ball. Let's put you in the bug types, man. All the pairs you want to add are bug. 
Vivillon is one of the bugs I feel that kind of gets overlooked. Mm -hmm. But let, let's let's ask ourselves: Do you want your Rayquaza or do you want a Golem? I mean, I'm keeping the Rayquaza. I'm just saying I like Vivillon. Okay. Do you remember our naming scheme? Yep. So, Govalon. Govalon. Okay. We. I have go. To... I sound like I'm naming a Godzilla creature. Yeah, that's exactly what that sounds like. <laughs> when did you get access Ooh, to this? Root fossil. Want to wait? Should we wait till we have fly? Nah. Let's go back and do it now. We're going we back. Cut the episode. All right. So uh, we'll be right back. Yeah. This one. Okay. And I'm reviving my root fossil. All right, so should we clap back? Sure, go ahead. We're back. And we get... Cascoon. Scrap. Ooh. Another Damn. bug type pair. Dang it. Oh, this is so much a bad shawl. I have a valid pair. Casserel. Um, Cas oh, that's going to sound weird when it evolves. Castel. Because we evolved into Drakalchi. Yeah, but I don't worry about that. I'm worried about what they are now. All right. And Skakoon, I don't know if that's going to work quite as well. Casrel? Casrel. Skakoon! <laughs> that sounds like something someone would write for what an animal sounds like. So, yeah, we got uh, another fossil pair. Woo! Let's see if before we finish the entire run, if I can get run out of fossils. Be Honestly, that does sound amusing. You know what I'm curious about? Hmm. If I can evolve um, AZ's Floet. It, I don't think it's capable of evolution. Yeah. Only one way to find out, right? However, it evolves in this game, because apparently normal um, Floets are not custom form, so. Uh, Shiny Stone, I think? I think a lot of the fairies evolved by Shiny Stones for some yeah, but it's not a fairy anymore. Just as a general thing. Like, a lot of the fairy types happen to all evolve the same way. Oh. I think Duskstone might be a better fit now. Oh! Nice landerous. Wrong one. <laughs> no, that's the right one. Hey, wow. Monkey, oh, monkey. <sighs> monkey. I'm fire and you're water. Pan Sage looks the best of the three. Interesting take. I don't know if I agree with it. Interesting. I really I'm willing to hear the counter argument. I like Pan Poor. Alright, of the semis then I think Sage is best. Looking. Simi Seer I feel sad for. I also disagree. I I like the poor better. I think the dreads are funny. <laughs> ah, wow, well, they said one, two, three in Japanese here for a small language lesson. Ichi ni san. Okay, um, I don't know about language lesson because no, they didn't explain what it meant. I'm, I'll explain it then. I'm the one doing it. Uh, oh, hey, nice melodic. Hi. And it's a uh, form that I don't remember what it's called. Pirouette form? Yeah, pirouette. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> that about a <is> storm drain. <laughs> How super necessary. Uh, all right, I guess I'm focusing in on the Meloetta, which I know is a fighting psychic type. I'm now worried. Oh, it... Oh. Jeez! Wow! Then they one-shotted you! Ooh. <laughs> Sick! Uh. On the road again! <laughs> Can't wait to be Isn't that your aerodactyl? Oh, uh, yeah, I think it is. Uh, I am so sorry. Yeah, it's fine. I guess I don't get a Mega Aerodactyl. Makes you feel better. I can't have a Mega Rayquaza. No, it doesn't. It really does not make me feel better. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, 
I feel like we're adding this gore guys to be honest. I know exactly who to blame. The Pedalil. Yeah, because I doubt it was one-shotting you. It helping handed. I know. Helping hand crit acrobatics. Oh, that was a crit too? Wow. It was all in the wrong thing. Wow. And Rayquaza responded back with a crit. That's a crazy roll. I'm sad. I would be too. Mave did such good work. Actually, let me phrase it. I am sad. Because <laughs> Aerodactyl is so close to the Mega Evolve. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll take another one. F in the chat for one of our longest running members. Yeah, one of our best ones, to be honest. That really benefited both of us, even though you did not like Victory Bell at the time. It, it grew on me. Okay, now let, go over to your box. Let's figure this out. All right, so grass is open. You have got to be kidding me right now. Is it water or bug? <sighs> wait, no, it's flying. Bug flying. Yeah. I'm waiting. It wasn't your encounter anyway. You got the last one first. Oh, I did accidentally. <laughs> Okay, I guess to 30, right? Yeah. It's still a grottle. Yeah, it's 32. All right, so that's depressing. I hate this so much. We just keep getting bugs. And they're not even the good bugs. Like, Heracross, please? Heracross, please! I would love a Heracross. Mega Pinsir? I mean, just regular Pinsir, just something with like a some good stats. Drapion? Well, it's Poison Dark, but you know. The point's made. I mean, I have Excelgor, who actually is a pretty good bug. Are you a trainer? I think so. Oh, I get a horde. Oh, okay. So it's going to be a while. Do you have two legendaries or three? Oh, Mega Scizor, huh? <laughs> I don't know what I want. Um, Jirachi's a pain in the ass. I'm pretty sure that Scizor is dark, which would not be a bad idea. I can, we could carry on the memory of Fuega. <laughs> Plus, it's a Mega Scizor. Shedinja dies. Yeah. Basculin. Which? Oh, it's Defense Deoxys. But we had access to the uh, meteorites to change him. Yeah. I think I am going to stick with Fuega. Good choice. Fuega the Return. Um, so I'm going to choose Violence. You're just so close. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's tickling me. That, that's one of those where I like, I'm get, would get a little worried. Oh, dang it, I forgot to put the Super Mascaran up. Get a little bit worried about it just because it's... Never mind. I literally hate this. Look at these encounters today. Bugs. All of the stupid, like, butterflies. Yeah. I swear, if I get another one, I'm gonna be so <laughs> mad. All right, let's put this up. Do you, do you know that scene in Oras when you're just staring with May at these beautiful eyes flying by? <laughs> That's what this feels like. <laughs> you know, a lot of people don't like that scene. It feels like kind of a pointless scene. Ah, they wanted to do something. I mean, sure, like, I, I think it's fine, but, like, I understand what they're saying. You know, that are like, why are you trying to do some sort of relationship thing? I mean, with ten-year-olds, yeah, it gets a little weird. They just recently had an episode of Journeys where they focused on Umbria and Espeon, because they're going through this whole thing where one of the main characters has an Eevee that is trying to decide what it wants to evolve into. Uh-huh. And I, it... I'm getting a little tired of that plot line. Well, I guess kind of just ran its course to me. Yeah, and like it's done enough. Stop it. Yeah, it. Oh, this th way. They're not adding anything more to that. It's just like, well, I know what's oh. going to happen next. We're going to go see the next evolution, and then nothing's going to happen, and it's going to learn the moves from that evolution. I'm guessing, I'm guessing you have not kept up with journeys too. I'll have you. Oh. Yeah, I see things. On Please don't crit me. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's something I see people talk about. And I know that there is discussions of characters returning. Yes, there's always that. I keep seeing it too. Especially Serena. Yeah, I don't really care 
I guess, about Serena. I don't have any super potions. I feel like now feels like a good time to end the episode. Yeah, well, let me just finish this heal up and... Oh, oh I don't... All right. I guess I'll burn it. All right, so then... <sighs> okay. I guess you outro this? Yeah. Okay, so in the next episode, we'll get through this cave, and then we'll hopefully be fighting the third gem in the next episode, so... Look forward to it. Bye-bye.